hello and welcome to the chapter working with functions so this is the part 5 of this particular chapter i hope you have watched the previous parts of this series if not then you can always check out i have given the link in the description so our today's topic of discussion is scope of a variable so let's go and understand what do we mean by a scope before going to the technical definition of scope let us try to understand it with the help of a real life example so let's say we have you have gone to an amusement park let's say the name of that amusement park is abc park let's say there are three sections in the amusement park so let's say the first section is game section let's say the second section is toy section and the third section is your 3d movie section let's say th the, the management of this park issues two types of tickets one is the basic ticket the basic ticket will allow you to games and toys and other is the premium ticket so if you purchase the premium ticket then you will be allowed to games toys and movie so if you let's say you purchase the basic ticket then you will be allowed entry in the games and you will be allowed entry in the toy section but you cannot go in the 3d movie section let's say you purchase the premium ticket then you are allowed entry in the game section in the toy section and also in the 3d movie section that is you are allowed entry in the entire section in the entire park okay so what is making the difference whether you can enter in games and toy section or in all the section this particular ticket is making the difference the basic ticket has validity only in these two and the premium ticket has validity all around the park okay so now let's try and understand what do we mean by a scope so what is a scope is the scope of a variable refers to the part of a program within which a name is legal and accessible so in a program there are various parts so within what part a particular variable is valid it is known as the scope there are two types of scope basically first is the global scope and the second is the local scope let's try to understand what do we mean by global and local scope respectively from the name only it is evident that local scope will have a wider acceptance and global scope will have a wider acceptance and local scope will have a little bit less acceptance so let's try to understand the meaning of global scope so what is global scope so a name declared in the top level segment of a program is said to have a global scope and is usable inside the whole program and all the blocks contained within the program so in a program related to functions there is basically there are basically the functions and the main program so whatever names whatever variables names we declare within the main function it comes under global scope okay so what is a global variable a variable declared in the main program is called a global variable so whatever variables we will declare in the main part of the program that is known as a global variable so the global variables have global scope what is the meaning of this particular sentence global variables have global scope means whatever we will declare in the main program it is accessible throughout the entire program without any restrictions variables declared outside all functions are global variables also whatever variables will declare outside all the other functions that is also known as a global variable so let us try to understand it with the help of an example so let's take an example let's say this is an example related to global variables so here as you can see here we have 12 lines in this particular program now in this program what will classify as a global variable at first let me remind you that this is called as the main program so as per the definition what are the variables declared in the main program z and x so z and x has a validity throughout the entire program it can be used in all the lines from 1 to 12 so 
this seventh and eighth line has a global scope also we got another sentence that the variables which are declared outside all the functions also have a global scope by that going by going by that definition the line number one will also have a global scope okay i hope this is clear so now let us try to find out the output so what will be the output so remember now z x and p can be used throughout the entire program so at first which line will run so at first p will be initialized to 4 after so this line after the def is there so it will come jump to the seventh line so after that what will come it will jump to the eighth line so p is initialized as 4 z as 8 and x as 3 after that increment x so the 3 will be copied to here now y also has the value of how much 3 so here what has been done y equals to y plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 is how much 4 so now y has the value of 4 after that let's say this is our output screen what will be shown there print y equals to y so the first line of the output will be y equals to how much y equals to 4 what will be the second line of the output z inside the function comma z so z is a global variable so it is accessible throughout the entire program so what will be the value of z that will be displayed so it will be displayed that z inside the function after that what is the value of z the value of z is 8 so 8 will be displayed after that what is the next line p inside function so p inside function what will be displayed here p what is the value of p the value of p is how much nothing but 4 so 4 will be displayed after that the entire function definition is complete so the control will come back to the tenth line now in the tenth line what is given x inside main program comma x so what will be displayed x inside main, main program comma x what is the value of x the value of x is how much it is 3 after that which line will come this particular line z inside main program comma z so what is the value of z 8 so after that what will come p inside main program comma p so p inside main program see this p is also a global variable so it is also accessible throughout the entire program so it will show the value as how much it will show the value as 4 understood the output so the final output let me run this program and show it to you so this was our program this is the program so if i run it you will get the answer as this y equals to 4 z inside function 8 p inside function 4 x inside main program 3 z inside main program 8 p inside main program 4 so the basic thing to take away from this particular program is that if we declare a variable as a global variable then it will be accessible throughout the entire program it will be accessible what is the meaning of this word accessible it will be accessible means you can use that particular variable throughout the entire program you can use it in the main program also uh, you can use it in the main program also you can use it in the function definition also also you can use it outside all the functions also okay i hope the global scope is clear now let me just show it to you so this was our program so here if we revise it here p is a global variable because it is accessible throughout the entire program also z and x is also known as a global variable so this tree variable because these three variables can be used outside in throughout the entire program now this will be the output of the program as i have already explained the output so this is known as the output of the program so next let us go to local scope so a name declared in the function body is said to have a local scope so whatever variable names we will declare within the function body not in the main program only within the function body is said to have a local scope it can be used only within the function in which it is declared and the other blocks contained under it so if we declare a variable within a function body then that variable can be used only within that particular function 
not outside the function i'll explain with the help of an example then it will be more clear so what is a local variable a variable defined within a function is called a local variable local variables have local scope why because it can be used only locally within the program therefore it can be said that it has a local scope so let's try to understand local scope with the help of an example so here let's consider this program so here this part from line number three to six this is called as within the function or function body from line number seven to thirteen it is known as the main program okay so from that can you say which are the local variables yes this y the line number three whatever we are having or here also whatever we are having it is known as the local variable and local variable has a local scope that means we can use that variable only within that function not outside that function okay so here we have done one mistake what is the mistake that, that we do we have used the variable y in the main program also see the last line print y inside main program comma y okay but it is not acceptable why it is not acceptable because the variable y has a local scope so it can be used only within this particular part that means from line 3 to 6 only it can be used not outside that so if i try to find out the output of this particular program how will be the output so p is 4 after that second line will run then z is 8 x is 3 after that increment x so what will be taken by x 3 so 3 is copied to the variable y so y the value of y is 3 so y equals to y plus 1 it is how much 4 so what will be the out first line of output y inside function so y inside function what is the value of y now 4 after that next line is z inside function what is the value of z now the value of z is your 8 after that p inside function what is the value of p Value of p is 4. C. Z, x, and p can be used wherever you want because it has a global scope. Okay. So after that, it, the control will return to the tenth line. After that, x inside the main program. What is the value of x? The value of x is 3. Then z inside the main program. What is the value of z now? 8. Then p inside the main program. What is the value of p? It is 4. Mm, now, the program will show an error while it will be running the 13th line why because so y inside the main program comma y that means we are trying to display y but why it will show an error because y is not a global variable it is a local variable therefore its scope is only within the lines 3 to 6 but since we are trying to use it in the line number 13 it will show as as an error Okay, so let me uh, run this program and show it to you. So if I run it, so see, this is the output. All the other lines up to P will come, but after that, it has shown a error. See, the name error, name Y is not defined. Okay, so why this error is coming? Because y is not a global variable what is y y is a local variable so this is the output if i kind of zoom it to you so the other lines will come 4 8 4 3 8 and 4 because they are the global variables but see see here y has also come because this display is within the function definition but within the main function since we are trying to use y here we are getting the error as name y is not defined okay so what did we learn we learned that local variables can be used only within that particular function in which it is declared so this is our program so here y will be called as a local variable here since we are using y local variable is used inside the main program which is obviously not acceptable so never try to use a local variable within the main program so this will be your output okay so if we just combine everything to revise so this is our final thing so here p 
z and x these are global variables y is a local variable and this is this will be our output okay so a very important question related to this particular topic often comes in exam which is what is the difference between a local and a global variable i hope you are clear with the difference now explain it with the help of a python code so you can give the code which i have discussed just now okay so i hope that this session was useful i'll see you again with a different topic